Hi, I'm Steph, and I just noticed a tick, actually two ticks, on my Greyhound. And I live in Florida, so this is pretty common here. And we were just out in the woods earlier, and that's definitely where she got these. So they, these ticks haven't been on very long, maybe maybe an hour or two. So um, I'm going to show you how I remove them very easily. I do also want to tell you that they are on a medication called Semperica Trio, which has um, a treatment for ticks. So if these um, were to stay on any longer, they would actually, I think, die off. But I don't want live ticks in my house or on my dog. So if I see them, I'm going to remove them. So the first thing is I'm going to put on gloves just to make sure I don't touch the tick. Next, I get a light so I can see really well what is happening. And so I have this really nice light here that's going to be nice and bright. So this happens to be right next to a nipple. There's a tick here. And there is a tick right here. So it's a little funny that they're right next to her nipples. Um, but uh, we're going to take care of that. And then the secret to removal of ticks is this tool right here. This tool is called the Tick Tornado. And this makes it really easy to remove the tick. And after I remove the tick, I actually put it in alcohol and it will kill the tick. So I, yes, keep this jar called Tick Killer, which is literally just rubbing alcohol you buy from the store. And uh, so I'll put it in there, and then once they're dead, I'll throw them away. Okay, so I'm going to open my tick killer here. And what I'm going to do is just get this little tick right here. And then I'm going to twist it. And this motion is going to cause... This is going to cause the tick to release from the dog. And this is... To, okay, and it has released... So I'm not pulling the tick. So here it is, and I'm going to drop it in my tick killer. So again, I'm getting right under the tick. I'm putting the whole tick in the tool and I'm just twisting. And you just do it lightly and you wait till it releases. And there it released and I threw it in there. So I have two ticks with my tool. I'll just leave my tool in there for now. And I wait for them to die. <laughs> now that I've taken those off, I'm just gonna do a quick check to see if there's any more that I might have missed. Um, there is one right there. So I'm gonna take that one off. So let's go ahead and do that. Ticks are hard to see on Tosh because of her brindle fur, but these are on the underside, so it's pretty easy to see. And these are ticks that have not been attached for very long. And I can tell because they're small. There we go. Oh. Now, if the tick was larger and if I didn't know when it had attached to her, I would actually save the tick and put it in a plastic bag in case it needed to be analyzed later to see if it had any kind of disease, if my dog was showing kind of signs of, you know, being sick. But I know this tick was just from a couple hours ago, so that's why I'm just going ahead and kill it. Now the Tick Tornado actually comes with two different size tools, one for small ticks and one for large ticks. Now a large tick is one that has been latched for a while and has a lot of blood in its body and that's why it gets so much larger. Luckily I've only needed to use the small one because I've only found small ticks on myself or my animals, but it does come with both of these, uh, so it's a good idea to keep those. Now I did see one on my other dog, Mac, when we were in the woods and I got that already taken off, but let's just do a quick look to see if there are any more on Mac. Come here. Yeah, you good girl. You good girl. So I'm just going to do a quick look. Sometimes they're in the feet area. And we'll just look. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. So I'm going to go grab. It hasn't latched. So this one I can actually just grab. So I'm holding this one in my hand. I'm going to put it in the alcohol. But this is, again, why I always want to try to do a check, tick check if I can, because this hadn't latched on her, and this could have hopped off onto me. And I don't have a tick killer med like the dogs do, um, so uh, I don't want ticks on me. So obviously, do a tick check to the dogs. We also do a tick check to ourselves, uh, the humans. Ticks can be scary because they carry diseases, and you know bad things can happen if a tick stays on. Um, an animal or person too long. Um, but really doing a tick check and taking them off with the tick tornado is, is not a huge deal. Be a little aware and get them off right away. 
they're not a huge issue. So um, hopefully that was helpful and thanks for joining and have a great day.